Hello and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. We're going to look at the Boolean feature in Onshape. As you can see on the screen, we have a number of different activities to work through and we're actually going to cover three in one tutorial. So we're going to look at the Union, Subtract and Intersect options first and then we're going to look at a separate tutorial how to apply these to create more complex designs as you can see in the top left hand corner. Along the bottom we have a large number of tabs. This tab here gives us a quick overview of the activities and we can click on the links and the YouTube icons to gain access to the tutorials. We've also got a tab here which is a quick overview of the different resources that are available and along the bottom for each of these activities we have a reference model and we also have a tutorial model which we can apply the features to. So the first one we're going to look at is the union. So what we've got here, okay, is a cube and a sphere. And what we've done is we've used a technique, okay, to merge those together into one part. And then we've applied a shell so we can actually look at the inside of this design. So if we click on this surface here, we create a sectional view. Now what you will see, okay, if we just grab this, you can see here we've applied a shell and that shell that this cube and because these two have been united okay merged together that shell is applied to both of those particular shapes as you can see here okay so if we just go back onto forward you can see how that has been applied so how do we do that and how do we merge two separate parts okay into one so if we go to this tutorial OK, tab here. You can see this is all solid. This is a solid model at the moment and there is no uh, basically shell or any other features on there to create a hollow inside. We've got two OK, separate parts and you can hide those and show those as you can see here. So we're going to choose this option at the top. And the first option in there is Union. And what we're going to do is select both of them here, or you can actually click on the parts okay, on the screen as you can see them. And what that's going to do is that basically it's going to merge those together. So you'll see there, instead of having two, we have now got one. And of course you can rename this as you wish. So as you go, okay, union, done. So what we're going to do now is if we create a cross section here, you can see this is a solid, okay, and it goes into a solid there. So if we apply, okay, a shell and remove this face here, that shell will be applied to the entire part because this is all one. And as you can see, that's been applied to both. And what you'll see when we work through these other, okay, options and we apply a shell, you will see how that, okay, shell is affected depending on the option, okay, we choose up the top here. So if we now move over to subtract, and what you see here, we've got again the two same shapes, but this time, okay, we have subtracted, if we click on sphere, sorry, we've subtracted part of that, okay, sphere away from the cube. And what we've done is applied a shell, okay, but when you apply shell now, these are two separate. They are not merged together. They are two separate okay, parts. So when you apply the shell to them individually, okay, you will see here now. Okay. And we grab that. We just change our angle slightly. Okay. They're not merged together. So we have to apply two separate okay, shells. So you can see there's this double sort of shell thickness. If we can change that here. OK, just on, uh, just trying to get the angle, I think it's the graphics a little bit. There you go. There you go. So you can see now, OK, we've had to apply shells to, OK, those two separate parts. So when you use the subtract, you can define which, OK, part you want to subtract from which. So if we go and have a look at that now, and we go subtract tutorial, we've got two, OK, separate parts here. So we're going to click on F to fit that to the screen. We're now going to go up to the 
boolean options and we're going to subtract so the two okay we're going to subtract so this is the, what's going to be removed so we're going to click on the sphere shape the target body so what's so basically the target what's going to be removed is that that and if we spin that around we can see it gives us a preview and the reason why this has gone so semi-transparent is that it wants to remove okay that part now we could do that and we can or we could click on keep tools and it will keep the tool okay we've selected okay up here which is the sphere so we can keep that there the other option you've got as well if i just turn this to an angle like that is you do have offset what offset does okay it will create a slight offset all right or a gap between the two so if i click on faces to offset i can click that there and if i type in say five okay you can see okay it's creating that slight offset so that offset is getting a bit i would say bigger and it's taken into consideration okay that surface there okay if you want to you can obviously turn that off and if you want to you can keep the tool and that will remain there okay and if you click on say the sphere again you can hide that and you can see how that's affected it so again if you then shell that out you'd have to create two separate shells and if we turn that one on and we go shell again hollow okay click the sphere okay show a cross section by right clicking on the surface and you'll see there it's applied that shell to that body and that body and you've got those okay two separate okay shells there as you can see all right if you wanted to you could if we just go back and delete those actually i'll just drag that back actually if i drag that back and then just edit that particular feature so this time instead of okay having the sphere as the tool we'll swap those around so i'm going to have the tool as the cube and the target this time is, this, is the sphere and i'm going to update that so what you'll see this time okay if i hide the cube okay it's now subtracted the cube from okay the spherical shape there and again if i go down here now okay those will be shelled out and if we turn that one back on and again we do a cross section so right click and click sectional view now let's get that in the middle of the screen you can see as we drag that now okay you've got a slightly different shell shape because we've now subtracted okay the cube from the sphere this time so when you're doing union it doesn't really matter about which one you select the order because you're basically combining them together but when you are okay using the subtract it does matter you've got to decide on which is your tool and which okay is the base of the part that's going to be affected and if i click the x okay that one okay is now being completed so the next one we're going to look at is the intersect so what we've got here okay if we grab this and go back in time we can have a look at what we've done is if we go back to there we've again we've got a cube and a sphere and then we've applied this feature now once you apply the feature what it's doing it's looking how those two okay parts interact and where they interact it then creates another body and then what i've done is i've just then moved these okay out the way so i moved the cube out of the way i moved the sphere out of the way and you can then see what's left okay in between those all right so that's how you can sort of create that and again i've now got the left is the intersect so how do you do that okay same process we've got those two set up two separate parts there we're going to go to the boolean feature here click on intersect what are the tools so we select both of those okay there or we can set it down here and then it gives you okay a shaded preview of what that intersect will look like okay the two main parts will fade into the background and you can turn this around and you can see what's remaining again you can just click on a tick and it will just leave the actual intersect behind or if you go back into the feature you can click on keep tools 
and it will keep both the tools, so the cube and the sphere, and okay, the part that's actually been created from the intersect. Now you may be thinking, well I've seen those options before in other tools, and you would be correct. So if we had a, a design that we were going to create, say a extrude, revolve, sweep, and loft from, you do have that option. So I'm just going to select that and click on extrude. And as you can see here, you do have those op options in there. So you've got new, which we've covered before, which creates okay, a new part, as you can see it appearing there. You've got add, so that's adding to a particular okay, right, part, depending on which you select, as I did there. You've also got remove, and again, you can select what you want to remove. And again, you've then got intersect as well. And again, it all depends on, okay, at the moment, I've not selected anything, but it all depends on the options, okay, in here as well. So you not only, okay, have the options outside, okay, of these tools here, which you can apply to sort of different parts that you've created afterwards, you've also got those options, okay, in these main four tools here. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.